Hi, thanks for buying my replica Chronicles of Riddick goggles. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to fix the headband in the back so that you have a perfect fitting pair of goggles, just like the ones worn by Richard B. Riddick. Okay, first of all, if I sent you your goggles unfixed, the best thing to do is to do a test fitting and wrap the headband around in the back and see where the two halves of the headband meet and overlap and pinch it off. And that'll tell you which wedges you need to cut off, obviously leaving one wedge to overlap on the other. Otherwise, if you're sending me the measurement, then use a string or a strap. In this case, I'm using a strap. Wrap it around your head directly straight in line with your eye line so that it goes right around the back of your head over the occipital bone, not below it, over the back. Then pinch it off and stretch it out, and that's the circumference of your head. Now measure the strap to the nearest quarter inch, and that'll tell you how big around your head is. Now measure the goggles so you know how many wedges on each side you need to cut off. I'm cutting these goggles down to 23 inches, so that means i got to take two wedges off of each side, which is going to allow for one wedge on each side of the headband to overlap in back and glue together. Make sure you leave yourself about an extra inch so the goggles aren't too tight. If you're cutting the goggles down, for example, to 23 inches, that would be minus two wedges on one side and minus three wedges on the other. But of course you need one wedge to overlap at the end. So then that would only be minus two and minus two. However, if your head is actually, for example, 23 inches around, you only want to take two wedges off of one side and one wedge off the other side. You want to give yourself that extra little bit of slack in the goggles or else they'll be too tight and they will not be comfortable. Once you're ready to cut off the wedges, get yourself a cutting board and a really sharp knife. I use a razor knife, but you could use a butcher knife or a really sharp pair of scissors. The rubber is pretty strong, so you're going to have to push pretty hard and make one smooth cut, being very careful, obviously, not to cut yourself. And remember, you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Now that the strap is cut, it's time to put the ends together. Now remember in the back, the two pieces are going to overlap. This would also be a really good time to do one last test fitting before you glue the ends together. Get yourself a bottle of regular super glue, and believe me, this stuff works really good on this rubber. Just smear the glue around until it covers the back of one wedge. Now you're going to overlap the two pieces and hold them together. you got a few seconds while the glue is drying to uh, make sure that your position is just right. But if you go longer than about 20 seconds, it's going to be really hard to adjust. So you got to work kind of fast. Then you just... Pinch the two pieces together and hold them there. Once it's together, you want to time it. Let it set for about 20 minutes so the glue has plenty of time to set up and harden. Check to make sure the glue is dry and the connection is secure. Slide your goggles on and you're ready for action. Notice that I put the goggles on so the headband goes straight in line with my eye line right across the back of the head. That's it. Thanks for buying my goggles. And remember, don't be afraid of the dark.